Oh, he was flying. That was so much faster than before. <laughs> this is a set of Yokohama Advan high performance tires that I just bought for $1,600. And this is a set of Zestino track focused tires that I bought for $600 mm -hmm. at Walmart. Does more expensive mean more better? Let's find out. Your tires sound like they were made by a pizza company. Zestinos. <laughs> We bought two identical Subaru Impreza WRXs and we've been modifying them to be time attack cars. This Subi gets expensive parts and this Subi mm -hmm. gets cheap parts. Then we test them to see which parts are worth spending your hard earned money on. You know, a lot of people think that to go faster, you need more power. But without proper traction, all that power will go to waste. That's right. Installing a set of grippy tires is one of the most impactful modifications you can make to any car. Grippy tires improve the performance of a car in three main areas. Acceleration, cornering, and braking. And those are the big main areas of driving a car fast. So today, we've devised three different tests to test those different categories of our tires. And we'll see if the cheap tires can keep up with these expensive ones. Test number one, acceleration. You want to put as much power down to the ground as possible. Burnouts are cool, but they're not very fast. A nice grippy tire can greatly improve your zero to 60 times. We were actually going to have everyone do a few runs in each car, but we literally blew up high car during our stock tests. So we don't really want to break anything again. We're going to have Adam do two runs in each car. He's a neutral party and frankly, the best driver here. All right, Adam, we spent a whole bunch of money on these tires. If we don't go faster than Nolan, it's going to be really embarrassing. One, two, three, go. Blistering. Wait. First test, 7.4. Four, seven. That's way worse. I that one. That's my <laughs> bad. He spent sixteen hundred dollars to be 0.9 seconds slower. Round two. Three, two, one, go. Six point nine six. Maybe this engine is worse than the first one. You know, you gotta launch these things almost at redline to keep them in boost. If they're not making boost, those things are slow. I wonder if it's got, just got so much grip that it just forces it to bog right off the line. That's totally than... possible. Yeah. All right, Adam, let's do low team proud. Three, two, one. Dang, she's flying. <laughs> He's doing the bounce trick. <laughs> you can't do that for one car yeah. and then not do it for another car. Seven point. One. <laughs> Never mind, both are slower. I'm starting to think we're not very good mechanics. <laughs> All right, round two, round two. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, dude, look at the way that she's flying down the front stretch. 7.36. Nice. Significantly slower, even though we've got more grip. So I guess for this acceleration test, we're both losers. <laughs> While those guys are setting up their next experiment, I want to talk about one of the most common misconceptions with tires, and that is their width in relation to grip. I have two pieces of tire right here. This one is 64 centimeters squared, and this one right here is 360 centimeters squared. The tire tread and compound are the exact same for both of these. Now I have to add some additional weight to our smaller contact patch piece here because I need to account for the extra weight from the larger piece of wood and the weight of the cord and the tire. 955 grams. Now I'll be putting both of our test pieces under the same load by putting two kilograms on top. Now I'm gonna use this force meter to pull these individual strips and determine the amount of force needed to break traction. 36 newtons. Okay, great. Your intuition might be leading you to say, well, this is a wider tire, it has more grip, and therefore I need more force to be able to break traction. Well, Funny enough, it takes about 38 newtons to get it to break free. So if our wider contact patch took the same amount of force to break free versus our smaller contact patch, why do guys run wider tires on their cars when they're racing around the track? One of the main factors is the compound of the tire and how it fails under load. So to demonstrate that, I'm gonna load up each one of our contact patch pieces. Now I'm gonna drag it across our table here. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on our larger contact patch piece. 
So on our smaller contact patch side, you can see there's more rubber left on the sandpaper. And that's because each individual piece of rubber on our smaller contact patch is bearing more weight, more load, and therefore it fails. Compared to our larger contact patch side, those molecules aren't reaching failure because the distribution of force is spread across multiple pieces of rubber. A wider tire means you can push your compound further before it fails. Okay, up next, test number two, cornering. If you improve your lateral grip, that means you can go faster through a corner before sliding out. To test this, we created a 200 foot circle on this skid pad, the first of its kind. It took millions of dollars and years of development. Everyone will get one shot to go around this circle as fast as they can. The car with the fastest lap time, in theory, has the strongest lateral grip. Let's see who's got it. Last time we were here, the fastest we could get around this circle on stock wheels and tires was 12.3 seconds. Now, let's see if Nolan can improve on that with his new $600 tires. Which we bought using today's sponsor, eBay Motors. eBay Motors is the only place that you can buy a car and all the parts to make it your own. Their inventory is huge with over 120 million parts, 5 million wheels, and 7 million of those sticky tires. 11.88, pretty good improvement over last time. Now here comes Adam in high car. We've personally been using eBay Motors on every season of High Low. The Z's, the Tacomas, and now these bad boys all got parts from their trusted marketplace. And they came with a really sweet money back guarantee. You get the parts that you ordered, or you get your money back. 11.80, just a hair faster than low car. So whether your budget is high or low, get parts you can trust from ebaymotors.com or just click the link in the description below. High car one? Uh, yeah, technically, but I think we should get some more laps. You wanna time me? Yeah. Okay, tires, get ready for grip. This is gonna be a good one right here. Dude, it is looking way more planted. Ooh, 12.25. Yeah, Nolan, why don't you take a go? Sure. Hey, don't, hey. don't burn my clutch. Here he comes, and he's across the line. Is that tire smoke? I hope that's just tire smoke. Hey, 11.61. So I'm simultaneously happy and sad. I mean, to be fair, Nolan is the best at this. Here comes Nolan, boom. There's definitely a lot less sliding and screeching than yeah. there was with the stock tires. 11.8, all right, 11.8. That is a pretty consistent half a second improvement over stock. That's a lot. Official winner, $1,600 Yokohamas by nine hundredths of a second. And our final test is braking. For this one, we're doing 60 to zero tests. Nolan and Zach will each get three attempts and the car with the shortest stopping time wins. Grippier tires mean you can hit the brakes harder before you lock up. If you can hit the brakes harder before you lock up, that means you need less track to slow down. And if you need less track to slow down, that means you got more track for going fast. Also, we have this new shirt available at donamini.com. We make clothes. Nolan and Zach are both out on track. They're each gonna do three 60 to zero pulls. We'll mark where they stop with cones. Shortest distance wins. Okay, Nolan, honey. You go. And there's 60 right there. 60, 60, and... Good stop, Nolan. And then if we improve on that, we'll move it back. Yeah. Head on, consistent. Pretty much the same. The Zestoni Gredges, great braking performance. I'm really excited to see what your super fancy Yokohamas can do. Well, good news is, Nolan, you're not gonna have to wait very long because here comes Zach right now. Ooh, that looks shorter. Well, the pedal goes low, but we stopped pretty good. <laughs> I think that's shorter and our brake pedal is super yeah, slushy right wow. now. Well, I mean, you guys beat us. Zach Job, round two. It's about the same. Okay. Well, I guess we don't need to be remarked, huh? Because our first was better. Zach okay. Job's final attempt in high car. Boom. I think they're warming up a little. <laughs> A little late on the brake really, there. I think the brakes are heating up a little bit, getting some slush. The improvement over stock is very yeah, impressive. Should we go look at the distance there? You can parallel park between that. I think that says a lot, but there's still one more test to do. The only test that matters, it's track battle time. Nice. 
We've tested acceleration, we've tested braking, we've tested lateral grip, but all of those things are just skid pad theory. We are building these cars to lay down some fast lap times. It's time to put these tires to the test here at the track. $600 versus $1,600 tires. Each of us will throw down our best flying lap and the car with the fastest lap time wins. We're gonna have Adam run some laps first just to get some baseline runs done with one person. And then if both cars survive, we'll all take some laps. Buster's hustling. Oh, he yes. was flying down that hill. Well, he has so much more confidence with these tires. That was crazy. That was so much faster than before. <laughs> I'm guessing we're gonna save close to two seconds on the tires. One thirty one point six nine. Dude, that is over three <laughs> seconds faster with just tires. And those are cheap. It's f***ing so much better. Yeah. That was like so much fun to see the back to back difference. Dude, we could tell that you were so much faster just by looking at it. Yeah. Especially going, like coming down that hill. The right side of the car was so loaded up. Like this side was so high. It was crazy. You just have more confidence, everything in the car. You're going to dig it. All right, so Nolan's past best time was 135.88 in low car. So as long as he can improve on that, he's improving. That's fast. Like just the flybys sound literally fast. Did you see his face? Focus. <laughs> oh, hustling through there. Uh, you can really carry a lot more speed. It's quite impressive. Oh, it's so much better. Looks good. Looks I think he clean. broke a little early there. It's a scary spot, you know? He's probably hustling. He's still in pretty good shape right now. He's not that far off about him. He's not too far. But this last straight takes longer than it seems. 133.02. Basically, 133 flat. That's pretty dang good. So we're seeing kind of a theme here, which is pretty consistently, everyone's putting down three seconds faster. That's a lot. Hey, Noah, great job on that one, buddy. Three second improvement. God, you can carry so much speed into that first corner, though. Like, just floor it, and then the brake, like, actually works. <laughs> I can't believe these tires are only $600. It's pretty amazing. Look at those Totinos, Grundles. <laughs> <laughs> are pretty good. Now let's see what $1,600 worth of tires can do. By my calculations, we should improve by 21 seconds. <laughs> All right, so Adam just tried to hot lap high car on track and uh, the brakes on this thing, for some reason, feel terrible. The pedal just goes straight to the floor. We will fix those in the future. In fact, we're gonna upgrade them. But for today, we don't have much light left. So we're gonna put the wheels and tires from high car onto low car, which really is probably a um, better test anyway. Zach Job is out there in low car. His last best time before the new tires in that car was 134.97. Let's see if he can keep the trend up and improve by three seconds. You do have more grip. I have to remember that and believe it. Carry okay, that speed. Keep your foot in it. Keep your foot in it. Break. 90 through here. Smooth as fast. He's looking fast right there. Yeah. Come on, baby. Okay, there's gonna be road, there's gonna be road, there's gonna be road. Whoa, he's coming in hot. That was a good turn. 131.54. was the fastest time in low car. He beat it by two tenths. You beat Adam's time. Yo! I'm sure he doesn't like it, but boy, do I. <laughs> yeah. I feel so good. I mean, it's night and day difference. It's that was a great lap, too. Yeah, that was, like, good. really good. We know that the Yokohamas are better. The question is, how much better? And the only way to find out, we got to put Shot Daddy in it. So Adam's time with the pizza tires was 131.7. Let's see how much he can improve with the Yokohama. Yeah. 
dude, he's, he's out for blood. Using the whole track. If you pay for the whole track, you better use it. As they tell you to do. Got to lay down a 130 flat, I bet. I'm thinking 130. Do we look cool in this light? Sick. Oh, he's going fast. That's fast. Uh-oh. Yep, good. Wow. Yeah, that's good. Come on. That's worth a second right there. Yeah. 129. Oh, hustling through there. Yeah, I mean, you really don't even need I think he's range. going into 129s on this. Pretty quick. 130.66. More than a over second. A second. Oh, wow. That is a huge difference. You, know, you gotta imagine that's partially confidence, but it's easy to have a lot of confidence in a nice tire. Ooh, ooh, this thing ran hot. Oh, those tires are nice. High car destroyed the laps. High car won the traction circle. High car won the braking test. I think it's safe to say that more expensive does mean more better. Thank you for watching this video and everything else on Donut Media. To make sure you don't miss anything, hit that subscribe button. If you like any of the clothes that we're wearing, not this one, go to donutmedia.com. Go pick up a camera and a wrench and make some videos with your friends. This is really fun and uh, pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs>